And welcome back to Lady and the Frogs. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe. <laughs> um, I lost a whole load of subscribers because I did a video which was... I'd like to think it's because it was a little bit out of the norm for reselling because it was about tie-dyeing. But I lost 10 subscribers that one. And I suspect it's because I mentioned that I went to Manchester Pride. Um, <laughs> which is like deleting somebody based on the fact that they went to a, a music festival. Because that's what it is. It is a music festival. When I say that I had a wristband <laughs> for four days, I was at a music festival. <laughs> lose followers for watching Natasha Beddingfield live. Anyway, today's video is going to be a clothing haul of all of this stuff which I have here. So I am, I have procrastinated and I haven't done a whole load of listing because this is probably stuff that doesn't inspire me. So I've got this and then I've got another one with a load of like bric-a-brac, which I thought was bric-a-brac, but it turns out mostly seems to be just books from what I've looked at it. Um, I may well add these two things to that pile uh, because they don't, obviously handbags don't involve mannequins. However, this stuff which I have here, has all come from a relative. So they had two big bags of the stuff which they gave me, half of which has gone to the charity shop. And then this stuff, I just, I cursory went through it because I didn't want this stuff like sat around and me ignoring it for ages. So I cursory went through it and I sent a load of the stuff to the charity shop um, where I work. So now it actually sold quite quickly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was really surprised. And then um, this stuff which I kept because I thought... I could probably put it on. Now, with my eBay business account, I do like to run auctions quite regularly. So most of this I will put on auction because it just creates a bit of interest. Um, the reason that I got this is because I went up in June for a funeral. So a lot of this, although a lot of it is just stuff which has been sorted out by my relatives, which they didn't want anymore, um... And they've done they've they've gifted me stuff before and it's always been phenomenal. <laughs> really good brands. Um but a lot of this will be because we had a relative die, so it's come out of their house. So I think that's probably why it's easier for me to deal with it and sort of get rid of it. I don't expect to get a lot of here. The reason I'm doing this is because a few of you said you were actually interested to see what I got. Uh, I'm interested because I've completely forgotten what most of this is. Um, I suspect I've got some summer wear which I should have like got on sharpish. Like that looks like summer wear <laughs> that I should have got on sharpish. Um, and some of it is jumpers which I was sort of like in summer when it, we had this massive heat wave at the time I was thinking what am I going to do with those jumpers and now it's September so this is the problem that I've got <sighs> I procrastinate listing stuff all the time and I'm getting annoyed with myself for doing this I'm annoyed that this is sat here June, July, August it, well, it's the end of September, so there's four months that it's sat there not being processed. That is ridiculous. Yes, I've, I've been doing it over time at work, but it's, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. But saying that, this is a good time to get it on because run up to Christmas, people do buy things. So these two things which I am brandishing here, they are both Radley bags, um, which I was thrilled to see initially. But it seems that there's not that much resale value in it. It seems that it's something that is quite old hat, if you, <laughs> if that's the way of putting it. I mean, I know that these are genuine. I know that I don't need to, like, check these things because my family, they're constantly in America. 
they're constantly shopping in decent areas i know that these are genuine so don't need to check them this one is also uh, radley um so it's got the dust bag um and that is just a leather shoulder bag um i think one of these they have kindly left me with and that's even got that little thing in there so it's got the leather cleaner leather cream in there it's got a bit of um lining damage i mean i know that these have been used it's got damage on here i, don't, I mean I, I know how much cancer research put these things on and i think that's one of the reasons that i didn't yeah, I, I wanted to keep hold of these. I think I probably am just going to put them on auction. I think it's the sensible thing to do. I might have a dig round, see if I... I think this is why I've held off doing some of these things, because I just keep thinking I don't know anything about luxury bags. Um, and I just don't know how to do the research. These are probably um, my Aunt Daft's, because they, she was big into her dogs and... I suspect that's the case here. It's, it does seem weird in a way sometimes when you're dealing with things like this, but I've done it once. The reason that I got into reselling is because I had to deal with all my brother's stuff and that was before he was even passed on. So you have to sort of learn to live with it. So, I mean, there's a lot of people, I've, I've seen people who've come into the charity shops the charity shop before because obviously I work there now and they're upset because they're dealing with their relative stuff and they just want rid of it and you know they're gifting it because somebody's passed on it is very much a thing I have dealt with people who've been in tears <laughs> so a lot of the time people just they can't deal with it and they they do just I think I'm quite matter of fact with my family. I know that me and my mum were dealt with it quite well with my nan's stuff when we did a car boot sale. And I do have very vivid memories of that because it was the same... The weekend that we did it was the weekend that the Lady Diana died. So I have, like, very real memories of that because it was on, like, the Sunday... And there was these newspapers that had come out that were in the Asda that was near where we did the car boot sale. And they had pictures in the, on that newspaper that have never seen the light of day again. So, you know, there are pictures that were taken at the time that Lady Diana went. So. There you go. Anyway, this is... The, the, I'm, I've got so much here to get through. Me babbling on about Lady Diana isn't going to help. Right, so this is definitely something that I want to sell. Um, Bieber obviously it's quite modern but I like Bieber uh, I've got to put this in the wash this is one of the reasons I want to go through it it is now going dark it was really good sunlight a moment ago apparently we've got Storm Agnes on the way this has got marks on it it does say it's machine washable even though it looks very silk I mean I like this and I we have a house of Fraser still marks I don't know whose that is but I've got to make a wash pile. Uh, that's one of the reasons. I was considering just doing the bric-a-brac today, but then I just thought I'd better do this because I need to work out what needs washing, get it out of the way. Is this a dress or a skirt? So all of this stuff will be my aunt's, who was obviously in her late 80s and has just passed on. And then there's my cousin my great cousin um her stuff in here so she's i want to say in her 50s six yeah 50s must be 50s i think i don't know <laughs> she must be she can't possibly be in her 60s she doesn't i don't feel like she is um and then her daughter who is in her late 20s early 30s it's her and I'm going to her wedding so when I have stuff like this which is size 10 
new with tags i know that this is my <laughs> cousin's and she hasn't worn it i think it's a skirt i'm hoping that it's a skirt and it's not a dress it must be a it must be a, a skirt because it's got this on it you could just look at the tag but it doesn't have a description why would it have a description so apparently this was originally 46 pounds and then they had to reduce it and reduce it and reduce it so it's only top shop and it's in the size 10 um and i can't work out whether it's a skirt or a bloody dress it's got to be a skirt hasn't it so that hasn't been worn um yeah but that's this time of year isn't it so like let's start making a pile start making piles and i always hate moving this because it's then when it disconnects because now i've got more modern technology it doesn't work as well <laughs> oh there is way too much here goodness me this is free people i haven't even looked at this i've just sort of thrown it all in there right so i've got a top all of this like the top shop thing there i know that it is what it is but i'm probably going to put it on a 4.99 slash 9.99 auction that's what i'm going to do because i like having auctions it just it really brings the people to your shop um so this is free people apparently and uh uh what's that zebra print um m maybe trying to be tiger print but it's gold um so that's great just a little tea um oh so this is brand new selfridges from selfridges whistles so i mean i see whistles a lot in the charity shops and then i'm like absolutely gobsmacked when i see how much it actually retails well so this brand new whistles this brand new is a hundred and 60 quid uh, I haven't got the size on here what's the size uh, 14 sorry it's on button so it doesn't look like much so that is just a black dress uh, I'm dead tempted to put that on or buy it now because some of this stuff if you put it on auction um it fails catastrophically but with that being brand new with tags i'd like to put it on a buy it now i don't expect to get any more than 40 pounds for that even though it was 160 new who knew who knew <laughs> i didn't know <laughs> bloody hell right this so this is this is an example of stuff which i am going to auction definitely this is sheen so i know what you're thinking why on earth have i kept that i mean it probably wouldn't have gone that well in the summer months but now it's velvet it's um got some booberella going on sheen size small it's probably unworn i don't think i've ever seen my cousin wearing this it's just it's got fluff on it it's not that it's dirty i know that see that's i think that's another thing is that i think um most of this will be like laundered as well so it, it's nice to know that you've got something that's laundered my um manager was just saying do you know if there's one thing i could wish it would be that when people donate things they launder it before they donate it This is a play suit, not a play suit. It's, it's not really, it's like it's a bodysuit because it's it's long. Well no, it's well, it's half sleeves but long legged. This is only HM, but my thinking was it'll be a decent auction fodder for what 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 we're gonna say. It's probably start that at 999. I don't wanna like lose out catastrophically this has got a hole in it let me just get my little pot so i have a little pot with little pegs on it so when i find a flaw or a mark or something 
and I know I'm not going to deal with it straight away. I put a peg on it. Right, I can't remember what the hell this is. I feel like now that I've found one hole, I'm probably missing the point and there's probably loads on here. This is a brand I've never heard of. It's called Karma. Um, why have I kept this? So this needs a wash. It's got a mark on the sleeve there. So I'll do the same thing again because by the time I get to this, when it comes to me treating it in a minute, I won't have a flipping clue what's going on. I'm going to check the fabric content on this because it feels like it's got a bit of cashmere in it somewhere. Yes, so this is silk and cashmere. It also says don't put it in the washing machine. So I'm now going to be sponge cleaning that thing. Um, and so the hole is down here on the hem. What's all this rubbish that is picked up here? I don't know. So the hole is down on the hem, so I can mend that, that's fine. Um, and I'll spot clean that sleeve. So that can go on the to-do pile, annoyingly. Right, jackets. So that is Hobbs, Mary Anson. So I think that, I, I always think that that's a vintage so it's 100% wool. Um, yeah, I mean, what else can you say? I won't get any more than 25 for that. Um, there is dog ownership going on with my family. So I don't know how much faffing around I need to do with this in regards to cleaning because I don't know, I just, I think I need to do debobbling on this. So this, this I'm going to have to do debobbling on. I'm tempted to just, I'm tempted to throw this in the wash. Oh, come on. All I'm trying to do is do one of the buttons so that it doesn't look ridiculous when I hold it up. Right, so yeah, just, it's a cardigan, not a jacket. So perfect time of the year. This is probably a good thing that I've sat on this then. I need to debobble this and defluff it. I don't know if I need to wash it. Um knowing this brand it probably says dry clean only hand wash only yeah, whatever i might i might not i might i might i've now serrated my nails now i'm gonna put a hole in something right so this why has everything got a mark on it It's not as fluff. I was thinking that I was thinking, how can it possibly be dirty? Right, so this not really a brand that I go for. Um but apparently it's quite high end what's it via Viella. I know that uh, Sarah resells picks it up because when she came up to Manchester one time, I pulled out some Viella for her in the shops. UK 10 and it's got zipped pockets as well. I hope there's nothing in these zipped pockets. Like I said, I know that this stuff is clean. I'm just paranoid. Uh, yeah, so that's fine. That's going on. I don't know what I'm going to get for that because it's not a brand I've ever picked up. You see, this is weird because I know that I've definitely seen photos of my aunt wearing this um yeah aisle so i think this so bearing in mind they're up in scotland there's a lot of um edinburgh wool mill stuff and i think that's what aisle is isn't it yeah edinburgh wool mill not cashmere or anything so there's gonna be a bit of d bobbling doing here uh yeah just a jumper i don't know if it's vintage or not i don't know i don't just a jumper I'm not I'm not big on picking jumpers up but there you go there's a lot of debobbling in my future this is per Una obviously that's Marks and Spencer's 
people who always like listings is per una i don't know why they don't put marks and spencers on it um this is a size 12 it is a size 12 it just looked a bit shrunken um yeah i'll put that on these can go on auction can't they it, it's the right time of year now so it doesn't matter right what we've got here we've got monsoon so this is the right time of year i'll probably put this one on a bite now uh, because I don't want it to like go on auction now. I think that might photograph well because it seems to be coming up quite well on the camera. Uh, it's sequins rather than just, um, you know, uh, metallized um, fibres. 6% wool and the rest of it is just anything that they could find lying around, but it's really soft um and really white so i hope that it doesn't pick up stuff in here there's just there's a lot of like bits on everything i think it may well be because it has been in storage um as with a lot of like you know when people pass on there's a lot of like time when they're like in some place where they're looking after them I don't know why I've kept that one. On a Milburn. I don't know anything about on a Milburn. So this is just stuff which I just thought I'll stick it on. Oh, that's Edinburgh Wool Mill. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Edinburgh Wool Mill. It used to be good, not so much anymore. It's obviously still a big thing. I don't know what that's from. <laughs> I'll have to work that out <laughs> as we go through. Uh, so what's this so this is country rose this is stuff i wouldn't pick up but i also didn't want to like send it so this is the Ed this is edinburgh wall mill as well i promise you <laughs> edinburgh wall mill so if you ever see stuff and it's got e w m at edinburgh wall mill oh that's why i've kept it because it was brand new so 18 pounds apparently originally from that uh, so, <laughs> yeah, another auction fodder item. This, what is this from? I think I, I think that's probably why it's in there because I couldn't work out where it was from the first time round. So this would have been good to put on in the summer, but for some reason, I've just ignored this box. I may have to stop and sort my nail out for some reason decided to go all whappy so this is m and co it says spirit on the label it's part of m and co um i think i've kept it based on the style because um it's like tablecloth material but um you know rainbowy so somebody might want it but it is a bit summery Never mind, it's going to go on auction. Um, it is what it is. Don't know who this is. Eugene Klein. Just a top, which I should have put on in the summer. Um, yeah. 4 99 auctions, these. Nothing wrong with having a 4 99 auction. It'll, it can only do my shop good. Uh, I have another M and Co there, pair of trousers. Again, summer wear. What a shame that I didn't pull my finger out earlier. I don't know if that's part of a pajama set. Uh, it could well be. I know that I have a pajama set down there. The reason that I know that is because I've seen my cousin wearing this on. <laughs> one of their annual Christmas photos. <laughs> so this, uh, this is m &S. So I mean, obviously this is the right time of year to put this on m and uh, That's the top. That's the bottom. I have no idea how to photograph that. So it's nice to keep that as a set. You won't find sets necessarily in charity shops because it's a pain in the arse what's more of a pain in the arse is the amount of people who come up to you when you work in a charity shop going 
Where are the pyjama sets? In the pyjama shop. Go and buy one. Keep M&S in business. Sometimes we keep them together. Sometimes we don't. But for the most part, we don't. Because it's difficult to. So these are M&S &M trousers. Size 10. <laughs> It's very unfortunate for them to put SHT <laughs> abbreviation off short. Uh, are these linen or something? No, these would just be like viscose, I suspect. Um, polyester. Yeah, so a pair of trousers there. It's just, it's all just bread and butter auction stuff, I'm afraid. M and Co. Same again. I'm surprised I didn't let these things go, but I think I just sort of looked at them and that was my my thoughts, is that something, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, that was linen, so, you know, I've missed the boat on that. Well done, Linda. This is Pretty Little Thing, but it's brand new, so hence I've kept that. Um, the previous stuff that I had, there was lots of pretty little thing new with tags, um, which I auctioned, and it sold on the first round. That is a very skimpy dress, but that's what the pretty little thing crowd want. But they also like to buy it straight from pretty little things, so they can rip the bags open on their haul videos. It's a six, so that's not great, but it'll go. This M & Co, again, what a shame that the brand doesn't mean anything. M & Co, when they first started out, they did some absolutely fantastic uh, fur coats. And I wish I'd bought one of them. There was this really nice one. And I mean, I still sometimes do a little search to see if I can see it online because I would buy it, but I didn't buy it. I think this is a dress. Um, I've retained that because it's new with tags. Um, Charlie for Boohoo. Who's Charlie? It looks like it's the same font that Charlie Red used to have. <laughs> Which anybody who remembers nine, the 90s will remember. I have no idea who hashtag Charlie XCX is. <laughs> right, so whatever that is, it is what it is. Um, I don't know how, I don't even know how that's going to go on the thingy it's a halter neck is it all oh, right so that goes round i don't know how i'm going to put this on my mannequin because my mannequin doesn't really have a neck so that just may be aggravating for me um eugene klein again whatever that may be just a long sleeve top I did ask before I did this, recorded this haul, if anybody was really interested in seeing all of this. I'm not that enamoured of myself with listing all of this because it's not stuff I would pick up. My whole ethos is to only like pick the cream of the crop because it'll sell well. It's like this week I have listed quite a lot. And one of the things that I, li I, do, I listed as, as a McQueen uh, t-shirt this week, which I should have put on for a little bit higher, but I was gauging it on the how, what other people had got for it, and I, I wish I'd like aimed for the sixty region, but I sold it for for fifty straight away. <laughs> but I think it was a a limited edition design, but that's the sort of stuff which I'd rather. If I can pick stuff up like that up for a fiver, and then I can flip it like that that quickly, that's what you want, isn't it? Uh, that I think is a leopard. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so but a leopard in a massive amount of sequins. It is only H&M. I think it's like a small size. No, it's, his is medium, but more auction fodder. A Zara basic um, frilly jacket. It has got sleeves, hasn't it? It's not just a poncho. Yes, it has got sleeves. Uh, it's got that stupid raw edge thing, which just does my nutting. Um, it just has a mark on the back. It's just a 
storage mark. Doesn't need laundering. Why have I got these? Oh well. Another pair of stupid trousers. Just silly daft trousers. <sighs> Ten Marks and Spencers. Some of this stuff may well just go on a 99p auction. I think that's I think it's good sometimes to have a 99p auction. Right, we are on half an hour now and I do apologise, but I am going to push through it all and do it all in one rather than splitting it. So um, a, a red dress. This is a lovely electric blue. Um, why did I say red dress? This is the sort of thing that happens when you go absolutely jilali. Electric blue dress um, by Topshop, um, size six. So not necessarily the easiest size to sell, but that's the size that my cousin is. Again, it will go on auction. This is looking a bit raggedy around the edges because of the nature of the fabric. Um, yeah, another size six Topshop dress. Topshop. Uh, but obviously gold christmas everybody's living for the gold um another glittery dress here miss selfridge this one is new with tags original price 35 um miss selfridge doesn't really get much it's just going to go on auction it doesn't do any harm the nature of that fabric is horrendous <laughs> there's a few snags in it what have we got here? I have no idea what that is. Something weekend uh, sport. So that is just a blouse. I don't really know why I've kept that. Is it something? That... It's just a blouse. It's just auction fodder. I don't know why I haven't split my dresses here because I've obviously. I oh, know that one's a skirt, isn't it? Oh, blinking hell, there's too much here. Split the piles, split the piles. Uh, so this is one oh, bit like oh, about doing. So this is Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren, previously when I've had Ralph Lauren in my shop, they have sent me hergedy messages saying, take this down. This isn't like Ralph Lauren when it bloody well was Ralph Lauren. <laughs> like I say, I know this is genuine because I know my family. <laughs> Um, so I'm probably going to put this on like a 4 99 auction I just hope that it drives traffic to my store I hope that it doesn't drive the um, Ralph Lauren Vero to my store but it's, I know it's genuine we all know that these things are genuine that is the genuine label this is exactly how the stuff looked that I had previously um, but they just don't like people selling on eBay uh, Jensen, Woman's, don't know, I don't know what that brand is. Um, it just looked quite nice. Just checking for marks. White stuff always has marks. Right, so this is the rest of the stuff which I've got here, which I'm just going to push through. I don't think there's going to be anything extraordinary on here. Lustrada, just a basic blouse which should have gone on in the summer because it's that bleeding sheer. What is this? This is a big dress. Pull and bear. Yeah, a pull and bear summer dress. Just what everybody wants as we slip into winter. Um, what size is this? It says medium. Who's this? Um, well, it's very spacious down here and very strangly up there. Now I'm sneezing because I've kicked off a load of dust. Uh, Marks and Spencer's just another basic blouse there. I do have a range of size with these. This is that's that's twelve. Um, a jacket there, Marks and Spencer's. So that that would do all right. I may well put that on. Uh, buy it now. 
that I'd probably auction it. There's nothing wrong with me putting everything at auction because I don't mind if if I put stuff on at nine ninety nine and it goes at nine ninety nine. I haven't spent anything on this, and it it will just do me the world of good. That's peppercorn. Don't know what that is. Just a basic blouse and then another basic blouse which is next so that's everything so obviously pretty much i wouldn't i wouldn't select any of this from the charity shop to buy to resell uh, because the price that it would be in the charity shop would be like around three to five pounds you know or like more if i'm down your way down somebody else's way <laughs> but um for the sake of the fact that this is this is stuff which i've got for free i don't mind having this and be able to have like a number of 99 pence auctions 99 pence 4.99 and 9.99 that's what i tend to stick to just having those auctions i will then put them when i list them I usually have them ending of an of an evening and then I put them on a recurrence so they will then list another two, three, four days later, which means that they're all there's always something starting and there are things are sort of going round and round until they sell. That's that's just generally what I do and it and it it, it does do me a favour because it does generate traffic and the thing is about those auctions because they're always um relisting themselves they never sort of like go stale it's one of the other things i need to do is do a big stock take and um refresh all the listings i've got because a lot of the listings go back to june so those ones are now stale listings so they need refreshing um so this is one of the like many things i wanted to do <laughs> this week uh, but i've not pushed on with anything so anyway yeah that's what i'm doing i'm gonna try and get through this as quickly as possible it's not very inspiring but i need to just push myself to do this um so there you go i did that because some a few of you said that you were interested to see what my relatives had gifted me to sell uh, so there we go <laughs> that's everything i wouldn't recommend picking up the majority of this unless you're like able to get stuff like this for 50p uh, 20p and like i do drive traffic to your store with an auction that's the only scenario where i would pick that up and pay for it so anyway yeah that's me done i'm going to wrap this up because it's becoming a long video so i will see you again soon i do have another haul video of all the sort of like bric-a-brac which i have purchased which um i need to list before christmas rolls around and you know we're waiting for christmas 2025 24 we're still in 23 i don't know anyway thank you for watching and i will be back again soon goodbye from me and goodbye from Stephen and ziggy goodbye